Naruto, 10 Things Mike Guy Can Still Do After Opening All Eight Gates After opening all eight gates against Madara, Mike Guy lost the use of his right leg. Even so, there are a lot of things he can still do well. Mike Guy is a jonin of Kanahagakur and a man considered to be a legendary ninja. A master of taijutsu, Guy has limited skills in other ninja arts, but his mastery of the strong fist style of taijutsu is what makes him a force to be reckoned with. During Naruto's fourth great ninja war, Guy fought Madara Uchiha in a battle that saw him open all of the eight inner gates and nearly destroyed Madara along with his own body. Although Guy survived the encounter, thanks to Naruto Uzumaki's powers, he lost usage of his right leg. Nonetheless, Guy refuses to give up and still has a few skills up his sleeve. 10. Guy continues to train himself in Taijutsu. Guy is a master of Taijutsu, specifically the strong fist style. Although losing a leg makes him tremendously weaker, Guy continues to train by making use of his left leg and using his right leg for balance. At other times, he makes use of his hands to move faster. His punches remain as strong as ever, and he is more than capable of crushing rocks with them without any effort whatsoever. Even now, he remains to be one of Kanoha's strongest. 9. Guy can still fight strong opponents. Losing one of his legs doesn't stop Guy from taking part in combat. His life as a shinobi might have come to an end but his spirit burns hotter than ever before. And he continues to fight on every opportunity that he gets. In Kakashi's novel, Guy is seen fighting several opponents alongside Kakashi Hitaki, even making use of his right knee in battle. Undoubtedly, he's an inspiration to many who refuses to give up no matter how strong the odds are stacked. 8. Guy can still use summoning jutsu. Might Guy may not have a great grasp over ninjutsu, but unlike Rock Lee, he can perform them to a certain extent. He's been seen using summoning jutsu several times throughout the series. And there's nothing that indicates he can't make use of it right now. Guy may have lost his right leg, but it doesn't affect his ability to summon animals in any way, thus, giving him another way to fight against strong ninja in battles. 7. Guy can train the younger generation. Perhaps one of the best things that Guy can do right now is train the next generation in the ways of taijutsu and the life of a shinobi. Guy isn't an active shinobi anymore, but the will of fire must be passed down, and there are only a few others who know what weight it holds better than Guy. Skilled as he is, Guy can train both the mind and body of the young shinobi and show them what it means to wear the ninja headband. In the Boruto anime, he's seen training shinobi on a couple of occasions. 6. Might Guy should be able to open at least one gate. Although Guy can no longer tap into the true power of the eight inner gates, he's certainly strong enough to open one gate. At least. The first gate, also known as the gate of opening, removes the mental limiters of the user. Kakashi Hitaki has been seen making use of this gate during his cliff climbing practice. Since this gate doesn't stress the body, Guy should be able to make use of it in battle if he wants to. 5. Might Guy can use fire release. Might Guy is known to be a user of fire release, although strangely enough, he's never been seen making use of it. This is likely because Guy had better weapons up his sleeve, such as his taijutsu and the eight inner gates to amplify its usage. Now that he's lost the ability to use them to the fullest, Guy's skill with fire release could very well be displayed at some point in the series. By training, he can certainly make it stronger. 4. Guy can make use of lightning release. Might Guy can also make use of lightning release nature transformation, although just like fire release, he's never been seen making use of it. The extent at which he can control this nature transformation is unknown, but with training, Guy can definitely take this power to a decent level.
Additionally, Kakashi Hitaki, Guy's best friend, is a skilled user of lightning release so the 6th Hokage may help him out with this power. 3. Guy can easily dispel Genjutsu. Guy may not be the most resistant ninja when it comes to Genjutsu, but he's certainly skilled with dispelling this power. This was seen during the Chunin exam's arc of the story where Guy was able to dispel its usage when Odogekure and Sunagekure launched their mission to destroy Kanahigakure. Guy can also counter the Sharingan Genjutsu by only observing the feet of the user, making him an expert in avoiding all visual Genjutsu. 2. Guy is extremely skilled with nunchaku. Guy is exceptionally skilled with most arts that do not require the usage of chakra and bokejutsu fits that criteria. Guy makes use of a nunchaku. Known as sashiga or twin fangs, in battle to increase his offensive power at times. In the fourth great ninja war, he was able to completely match Abito Uchiha's gun by using this weapon. Even after losing his right leg, Guy made use of this weapon in battles, as seen in Kakashi's novel. 1. Guy is highly skilled with other weapons, as demonstrated through what he taught Ten Ten. Guy's skills with Bokujutsu don't end with Sashiga. Interestingly enough, he has enough mastery of various weapons. All of which he can make use of in combat. This is evident from the fact that Guy taught their usage to his student, Ten Ten. To be able to teach the usage of these high-level weapons. He'd certainly have to have an excellent grasp over all of them. As expected of a legendary shinobi, losing his leg hasn't stopped him from being a tremendously skilled ninja.